What are the deprivation of liberty safeguards and why aren't they working? The deprivation of liberty safeguards, otherwise known as the dolls, were set up to provide processes and procedures for authorising the deprivation of liberty in a hospital or care home of someone who lacks the mental capacity to consent to their own care. The dolls apply, on the whole, to older or disabled people. Health and care professionals will make up to six assessments of the person needing care. In very broad terms, the assessors must ascertain whether the person lacks capacity to make decisions about their accommodation and whether it's in their best interests to be deprived of their liberty. The decision can be challenged through a review procedure or in the Court of Protection. But the dolls have been subject to considerable criticism ever since their introduction. Deprivation of liberty is itself a technical legal concept. Identifying when someone has been deprived of their liberty is not clear cut and nursing staff and care workers tend to see the safeguards as a technical legal solution that does not necessarily benefit the person they're caring for in any tangible way. The dolls are overly bureaucratic and place significant burdens on the NHS and local councils. They are also narrow in focus. They cannot, for example, safeguard respect for a person's family, private or home life, and significantly, there's nothing in them to prevent someone's needs from deteriorating to such an extent that deprivation of liberty becomes a necessity. In March 2014, two events inflicted significant damage on the safeguards. First, a House of Lords scrutiny committee concluded that the safeguards were not fit for purpose and proposed they be replaced. A few days later, a Supreme Court judgment, known as Cheshire West, widened the definition of deprivation of liberty, which meant that many more people should be made subject to the dolls. These events had grave implications for the public image of the dolls, and the regime has struggled to cope with the increased number of cases. As a result, the government asked the Law Commission to undertake a review. Our project is considering whether the dolls should be replaced by a new system, and if so, what measures need to be put in place to ensure that the system delivers improved outcomes and tangible benefits for older and disabled people, their family or carers, and the professionals working with them, while continuing to protect people's legal rights and provide them with meaningful safeguards. We expect to make our recommendations for reform and publish a draft bill before the end of 2016. More information on the project is available on our website.